previously on Rogue Roleplay. A beautiful river flows down a waterfall. Birds fly about, landing in lush trees with pink and white leaves on them. <laughs> I look at my own fault. <laughs> the hidden river. That's too much. It's in my mouth. Gross, 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 gross. Oi, I guess I'll need about three of these in case there are any mistakes. So I fill up three vials of river water from the hidden river lake water. Lake. C. While you're doing that, you hear from somewhere in the water. Does this fish look fairy tale like in nature? Yes. I lose my shit and I jump in the water. As you jump in and the water hits your mouth, you can start to understand the fish. Your species can't normally pronounce my name. But I'll just take whatever name you want to give me if you can't say that. Okay, well, I'll call you Steve Irwin. We cannot get to the fairy world just as easily as you can, but if, and we need your help. Yeah, I can help you with the myconid spores. There's a cave nearby that has a myconid in it, but they don't typically like their spores being taken from them, so just be careful. Welcome to Roll Gay Roleplay, a real gay, real play D&D podcast. I'm Chris the DM, and I just took a painkiller. Prescribed. Prescribed. Um, Prescribed. Hi, my name is Katie, and my goal in life is to be prescribed a fat bull by my doctor. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, my name is Brandon. I play Humphrey Evan After, and I just drank a painkiller. Prescription. (laughs) Hi, my name is Tisha. And I play Edith Wins Thereafter, and I'll be your doctor and prescribe you multiple fat bowls. Oh. Yes. Yeah, it's queen. Um, hey, I am Olivia Pope. Yes, I fuck the president. And yes, my daddy will kill you if you say anything negative about my relationship with the president. <laughs> I love him. The dad. He's fucked up. Absolutely. <laughs> I also love Olivia Pope, but should go without saying it's the fucking look she makes how (laughs) dare you this is my bad decision (laughs) speaking of bad decisions you know i actually do think this does correlate because i think mine's always a bad decision but i'll still make it every time our question this week i do remember it is who is your main on mario kart i should have had katie say this question can you say the question can you say the question uh cotty Yeah, who is your main on Mario Kart? Bitch, you lying bitch. You lying (laughs) ass woman. No. (laughs) Mario, Mario, Mario Kart? Mario Kart? (laughs) Fun fact, uh, when you're studying, like, dialect, the golden stitch or whatever that's called in Harry Potter is actually, (laughs) they're called norms, non-mobile, older, rural men. So they give you the the most accurate dialect for a region. Mm. Interesting. I did not know that. So, Katie, where's your norm? Oh, my God. My grandfather passed away. Thanks, Tisha. Can I? Do you have any, like, clips of him speaking or anything so we can know how you're supposed to sound? Yeah, do you have any clips of him talking about Mario Party? (laughs) Who was his main? Mario Party? Um, He was a local historian, so he just talked a lot about fire. Oh. (laughs) Okay. How do you say fire in... How do you say fire in Canadian? Fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds real Kentucky. Louisville. <laughs> fire. Fire. Okay. Um, if I, I mean, I guess I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. So I always pick the baddest bitch, the first princess, the only princess. Fuck a bitch named Daisy. It's always oh. about Peach. Uh, the first princess is Pauline. Pauline. <laughs> and who, where is she now? Exactly. Kingdom City, duh. So she um, was in the newest game. Okay, and okay, and that's it though. But where's Peach? And she's been? a bad bitch. And where's she's Peach been? Resort. She's and singing. where's Peach been? Peach been sitting on her ass in Bowser's castle and doing what? Still thriving. Nothing. Still ruling. Doing nothing. Still surviving. So that's why we always talk about our queen, the number one princess Peach, and her sideburns. That's so right. she's surviving, but Rosaline's out here thriving. So Rosaline, a bitch could <laughs> never. Oh, I said Rosaline. That was wrong. Where's Pauline? What, pa- they're all the same person. They they really are. Um, <laughs> but still, a bitch pa- named Pauline could never. What's she gonna do? 
I ain't no ain't no bitch gonna compete with me that's trying to be with me. Okay, like no. I just play Luigi. <laughs> But, like, Luigi is known in Mario Kart for that side eye. The petty one. It's just because he's tall and green, and I like overalls. <laughs> you are such a so lesbian. Like overalls. I know. Oh, Luigi's fitting, though. I get it. I didn't know the, the this question would be so controversial out of the gate. I thought that we would have a little bit more in common. I always pick Yoshi. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't want to be a fucking dinosaur? Me. I want to be a princess. <laughs> Wassel. I love it. Uh-oh. Oh, Go oh my God. Do that again. Wassle. Uh, Wassle. So now all I need is for you to shit out an egg. Brandon is getting hard. <laughs> um, you gotta pay extra for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck Brandon Lee Mulligan in bed. This is. <laughs> well, I mean, like, at least Brandon Lee Mulligan's a human, you fucking furry. Like. <laughs> okay. Pauline's hot. Yeah, she's a oh, baddie, but she ain't no Princess Peach. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, I'll go <laughs> next. My main is. The one true princess, Wario. <laughs> Classic. You have such Wario energy. I just love his laugh. <laughs> so good. Love it. I hate that you chose Wario because I also feel like I should have guessed that you were going to pick Wario. Right? What does that mean? It means you eat I a don't... lot of garlic. No. I do. <laughs> like... Evil villain, but also very comical. In overall, short. Overalls. You do have Wario energy, though. I think all of them make sense because Katie's got some Luigi energy. Oh, Thank for you. sure. A little bit awkward, but adorable Luigi sidekick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, will read you for filth with that side eye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely a lesbian. I also yeah. can't fucking drive though. <laughs> My go-to is always. I go for a birdo. Because, like, trans rights, we stand a strong queen. She's adorable. Oh, yes, I love Birdo. And those little eggs. And the oh. fact that Bur- Birdo said, bitch, I am pink and I will wear this bow. I ain't got a single drop of hair on my head, but I will wear this bow. <laughs> She's always like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If I had known that this was going to result in us just mimicking the Mario party or the Mario Kart character voices, I would have done this question so much earlier. Oh my god, Jonathan, you got to do a Yahoo! Give me some time. I'm drinking beer. I feel too mask for mask right now. Uh, I don't know. She always talks about baking Mario a cake, so I don't know. Like, one of the only reasons I want to get a nice Wii, like a new, not a Wii, a new Nintendo thingy is because of the new Mario Kart. Yeah, Switch. There it is, Mario Kart. Mary, oh shit! Got it. it did come out. Actually, it's pronounced Mariah Carey Kart. <laughs> Mariah Carey Kart. <laughs> Michaela Kart. Michaela <laughs> Kart. Jonathan, have you seen that video of like the Mario soccer thing where Daisy and Peach fight each other? Yes. Yes. Uh uh-uh. uh. Huh. Oh yeah. Huh. <laughs> so good. <Cut. laughs> what if two sexy robots talked at each other? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Where is this coming from? <laughs> but yeah, I, you know, I don't really care for Daisy because she's just a little too much of a tomboy for this, for me, who's like pretty, pretty princess. She's just not my tea. I, don't I, f- I feel like Katie, when she was younger, played as Toad, and now she has evolved into Luigi. True. I play Waluigi when I'm... Can so... anyone do a good Toad impression? I can play you that oh. Toad Sing Chandelier by Sia. <laughs> No, just sing it for us, Jonathan. Oh, so uh, uh, no, because I, I like my voice. I like my voice. I don't <laughs> want to destroy my voice trying to sing like that. That's a lot of screeching. No, you know what? I totally remember as a kid picking Toad at friends' houses when we would play games because Toad was not Princess Peach, which if you pick, if you pick the girl, then you know you were gay. But I would pick Toad, mm-hmm. who was basically gay too. And- <laughs> right, a non yeah. Binary fun guy. Yeah, you know, like, for real. Oh, I definitely picked Toad when I was younger as well. Mm -hmm. Until I grew into my own. I think Toad is a stepping stool for the gays. More recently, they've been adding in, like, Toadette to things. So now you could be gay and indecisive. Yes. (laughs) I didn't know that. It's a me, a homosexual. (laughs) It's a me, a homosexual. (laughs) (laughs) Where is the insert for the modified Mario Kart? It's a me. I'm a gay. <laughs> I'm oh. a here. I'm a queer. Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> That's 
<laughs> so funny. Oh my god. This is an awesome question. Speaking of whatever we were just talking about. Speaking of magic shrooms. Speaking of magic shrooms. Yes. There it is. We are about to rejoin the Myconid battle. We had to do a two-parter because the battle got a little intense. Oh, it's always their excuse. But before we get back to the battle, let me remind you of how the last episode ended. Our adventurers have just entered the Hidden River where they were told by Steve Irwin the fish where to find Myconid spores. When Humphrey entered the cave, he saw a small spore which he gently plucked out of the ground. But when that happened, a battle ensued. There are currently two creatures trying to attack you in this cave. A large myconid that we are calling Biggie, and the corpse of a drider which the myconid spores have control over. Humphrey is still a drooly mess, Cleo is keeping a reasonable distance, Cherry is in wolf form, and Edith accidentally threw an unknown potion in her own mouth. Biggie is up next, and we will pick it up from there. Then it's Biggie's turn. And uh, Biggie's oily and just got smacked hard. Yeah. So, uh, what are we going to do, Biggie? What can we do? We're going to try a different type of spore now on on Cherry. So if you could once again, Katie, make me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> With advantage. With advantage. Uh, that was a 20, dirty. <laughs> okay. Once again, you doggy snort the <laughs> spores right back out of your nose. Wipe it with your paw. And yeah. I'll just go in for that fist attack because that's all I seem to be able to do with Biggie here. So mm-hmm. Biggie's going to take a swing with his mushroomy plant arm and roll to five. Ugh. So no, that's cool. Remember when I said I might, wasn't sure if this would be a struggle for you guys or not? Yeah. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> it's its turn. But it is our Drider's turn, our little spider lady. And she, she's she got some damage to do. So what she's going to do first is she can't cast spells because I think as a servant she can't cast spells, which is fine. We're going to try a different attack because attacking directly at Cherry didn't seem to work. So I'm going to go for my longbow and I'm going to try and get Cleo back there because my range is 120 and you're within range of that. So You leave me the hell alone, you monster. I'm coming right for you. Uh, So I'm going to take three longbow attacks. You raggedy bitch. Oh, I might have hit a couple at least. I got a 20, a 14, and an 18. I got a 20. I might have hit. (laughs) Okay. All three hit. Really? All three. You're just about to take my beautiful ass. Okay, so each one of them does 1d8 plus 3 piercing damage plus 1d8 poison damage. All right. Uh, Yeah. So that is 6d8 plus 9 that we are doing. Uh huh. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Roll. What does my cape do? Three, four, one, six, four, six. A twenty-four plus nine, <laughs> thirty-three Oof. damage. Let me just uh, let me let me do some calculations right here. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh yeah. Um. So that brought me down to one beautifully manicured knee, and I am in serious pain. Good, strong hit by our spider. Yeah. Lady. Damn. Yeah, that, that that fucking hurt. Yeah, Humphrey, you're back there, and you see three arrows just one after another <laughs> right into Cleo as Cleo drops to a knee. Oh, no, my my snowflake. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we probably should have taken a short rest. That's right. Some of you had some damage before this, too. Yeah, I, I am down several spell slots and most of my HP. <laughs> I have no level two spell slots. <laughs> uh, as soon as... And it's probably too late, but Edith would have done a reaction, but she can wait until next attack. But as soon as she sees Cleo getting hurt, she is going to do her reaction to give them bonus AC. Beautiful. Uh, When that happens, Tisha, you have become charmed by Cleo. What? The potion that you drank is the filter of love, and I was waiting to see who you would look at next. And it was the person that you look at next is you are regarding as your true love. Oh, oh. my. Oh, my little schmoopy poopsie. Oh, no. And this lasts for one hour and cannot be dismissed. Let me. So she's absolutely going to use her reaction to give her wisdom modifier bonus to Cleo's AC, which is a plus four to your AC. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yep. And this lasts until the beginning of your next turn. Oh, oh shit. I am. All right. All right. That's fine. I can do it three times. So 
don't. Uh, that's a reaction to them taking damage. So would that counter no. some of what I? It, okay. It's a reaction as soon as they're attacked. So a creature that I can see within thirty feet is attacked. I can use my reaction to add my gotcha. bonus to their AC. Okay. How close am I to florals? Pretty close. I think you guys were within like ten feet of each other. Okay. Because you both have been backing up on each other on your each on your turns. I think I have to be within five feet, so never mind. Is that it then? Oh, it was my turn. So Edith, it is your turn. Okay. And you're just uh, enamored with your true love now. I am. Realm's best oh. lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. you you see her uh, pick up her coffee cup and drink out of it. It says Realm's best lover. Yikes. And she says it down again, takes another drink. It says, Realm's best listener. And she does it a third time, and it says, Realm's best cuddler. And Any more times is going to count as your action. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she uses her action to use her, use her spiritual weapon. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's a bonus action. So her bonus action is just knocking this peach right into the drider's face. Cool. How dare you? How dare you look at my sugar snap pea and try to harm him? <sighs> and bop right in the head with the peach. Awesome. Melee spell attack against the creature. Okay. Does Florals know this is a potion or does he just think that, that Edith has had a thing for it this whole time? <laughs> Well, Edith has always called him pet names, so so far it's not anything super weird. That's very true, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if you paid attention when the potion accidentally went into Edith's mouth. That's what she said. (laughs) But I would guess after this battle happens, there's still, you know, Humphrey still has his wet mouth. Edith's still going to be in love in the next episode because this battle didn't take an hour. So I guess we'll find out if you notice next time. Oh, this will be so fun. All right. It is a 23 to hit. Yes, that hits. Okay. This thing's got a good AC, too, but y'all keep hitting it. I feel like that peach does a ton of damage, too. Yeah, it is 21 damage. Yo! Okay. It is beyond bloodied at this point. All right. And then for her action, she is going to use motivational speech. Okay. What? <laughs> Isn't that like a 10-minute speech? (laughs) Well, uh, I'm sorry. It takes her a minute to cast this, so I don't think that she can do it in an action. No, then not an action. Okay. I mean, how funny is it going to be? It would have been pretty funny, but I can use it later. I mean, you could cast it as the rest of us are doing stuff for the rest of the combat. Yeah, I something that can make her invisible. Okay, yeah. She is taking her minute to cast this spell so she can still do bonus action but her action for the next minute is going to be taken by casting motivational speech (laughs) sounds good but in combat that's like 10 rounds it is 10 rounds yeah so she's gonna spend the rest of the time (laughs) oh my dear floral and spring aka cleo you are the match to my fireplace you are the twig to my wreath you are the paintbrush to my van gogh you complete me and i don't know what i would do without you you are amazing in your curiosity and if you were a cat i would give you my life, so that way you could have ten lives instead of just nine. What the fuck? I look over at Edith, and it's the most puzzled look, and then I prepare myself for battle again. <laughs> right, I imagine it's just like a wide eye, and I'm like, a, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Oh. Right. Uh, well, Humphrey, you're up. Uh, as you see your sister just enamored with the person that just got arrows shot into him. <laughs> Not confusing for you at all. Yeah, no. <laughs> Humphrey, does this affect... Would Humphrey know if this was like a magic thing or if this was just like a biological spore is taking over somebody? For who? For Edith? For dra- the, the dragger... Dra- dra- 
Drag- the Dryder? Dryder. You can, I mean, I think that from when you were closer to it, you could see that it was clearly dead or had been decaying for a while. So you don't think it's actually like a Dryder. So this thing probably has like magic on it, one would assume. With your uh, nature, because you were proficient in it, you know that myconids kind of just take over bodies. It's not that, uh, yeah, they're basically controlling it. Yeah. But it's so not it like there's something, magic. I guess, what's the, what's your question? If I cast a spell magic on it, will it do anything? No. Okay. Thank you. Um, so Humphrey's going to summon their packed weapon, which is the giant lollipop, and just start running up to the plant not the spider but okay while running past florals i'm just gonna look back and be uh we're, we're gonna after this we're gonna have a long talk and uh i just know that if you hurt my my little sister there will be repercussions <laughs> and i'm going to use my uh action surge to take a swing on this plant cool all right go for it we haven't had a fight in a long time we haven't i got a 23 that hits oh you sound so upset (laughs) chris's titty spider is being destroyed oh my god i rolled double ones for damage yikes i got seven damage okay and this was for not the spider right the plant the plant yeah yeah okay well it took it seven damage Yikes, that was the worst I could have possibly rolled for damage. <laughs> oh. uh, anything else you can do? Um, I don't think so. Okay. My little sprout's going to swing at you from his arm, from your arm again. That's fair. Just take a little swing at your arm from being inside your hand, and it rolled a one! Did it hurt itself? Did it, like, sprain its wrist? <laughs> me? Probably. It took two damage. It doesn't have much, so now it really looks hurt. Oh no, I don't want to kill it. It's still alive for now. It's hurting itself. You're not killing it. This poor little guy. <laughs> now, Cleo, you are up next, but before I let you take your turn, let's go to the gay agenda. Welcome to the Gay Agenda, where we thank our newest patrons, talk about our sponsors, and share updates about the show. And first, we have two people that we need to thank. So thank you, Garrett, and thank you, Foxboy84, for joining our Patreon family. If you want to check out our Patreon and all the fun we have available there, you can go to patreon.com backslash rollgayroleplay. If I do sound a little bit different in this gay agenda or in certain parts of the show, it's because I am currently recording this in my hotel room in Philadelphia under a blanket in a bed. So hopefully it sounds just as good as everything else we do. And one final reminder before we get back to the show, this is our penultimate episode of the year. We have one more episode coming out on the 19th, and then we are off for a few weeks and will return for the second part of Cursed to your preferred podcasting platform on January 16th. That's all for me this week. Now let's get you back to the action. Cleo, I know you're on your knee and hurting right now, but it is your turn. I immediately take one of my roses out of my quiver and eat it. Okay. And that'll be... That's right. Seven points of healing for me. And then... Very good. I am going to uh, shoot the dry... Oh, wait, no. I cannot shoot the dryer. Unless I have... I no. wouldn't mind a uh, little bit of help over here. I do believe this plant is uh, controlling that corpse. I don't know if we have to kill it. Okay. I look over at the plant, and I'm just making sure that... I can attack. I don't think I can. Oh, no. Because I cast a spell first. Mm. Yeah, that's your action. Unless you got a bonus action. You can attack twice whenever you... You can attack twice whenever you take the action. Act uh, Attack action on your turn. And then for bonus action, I have two weapon fighting, but I don't think that counts. No, that only matters if you did attack first. All right, cool. So, yeah, um, I heal myself, <laughs> and I say... Oh, I am free. I will be able to help your momentarily, but as you can see, and I start coughing up blood. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I need to uh, fix myself before I can save the day, and I'm going to go back to tending to my wounds. No worries. All that really matters is that you make my little sister happy. <laughs> um, uh, Florals and Spring is 
<laughs> mad confused by that. So That's yeah. Fair. Cherry, you're <laughs> up. <laughs> okay, so Cherry is immune to the loving subtext that's just permeating this entire interaction now. Uh, and she's still a horrible snarling wolf. So mm. who's left at this point? Everyone. Okay, I'm going to go after the spider then. Okay. I haven't attacked her yet. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go bite. Okay. Our drider's poisonous. Okay, that was a 25. Uh, that hits. Nice. Is this thing attached to the wall? I don't fully understand why we're still here fighting. We could have just, like, left. I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were going to throw the oil, light it up, and then run on your way out, but everyone, like, has been moving towards the oily mess. Oil- I thought I really thought you were going to end it when the oil hit, because I was like, one flame, it's going to light the whole thing up, and if you guys run fast enough, you're good. The grease spell doesn't actually, it's not flammable. So it was mostly a bluff. Ah, you know what I was considering is that somebody has oil from scurvy. Okay. That was me. It was the oil of oiliness, and it casts the spell grease. Uh, Is it flammable? That's right. No, the spell grease is not flammable, which is bullshit. It should be. Would it be part of, like, a sack or something? That's a 19 damage, by the way. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. It's still alive. But it's been taking some damage this game. I'm looking to level up. Definitely after this, yeah. Uh, okay, then it is our oily boy's turn. <laughs> Biggie just got <laughs> hit by Humphrey, so we're going to go for Humphrey. That's fair. Equal opportunity attacker. And it's going to... Ah, Humphrey, I need you to make me a constitution saving throw this time. Uh, I'm also immune to both physical and magical damage. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got a 14. That uh, saves, so spores go into your snout, you doggy sneeze it out and rub your paws on your mouth. Uh, <laughs> but it's still going to try and make a fist attack. It's still going to swing. and uh, It's still rolling. I got a nine to hit. What the fuck? No. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, so I don't think this, this plant is useful. I don't think it's hit a single thing once. So Would you say that Biggie's effect on this fight is Smalls? Nay, yes. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> it is our Drider's turn. She's not looking great. And since Cherry did the last damage, we're going to go for Cherry. And we're going to swing with this. Can I have ripped a leg off? Can you rip a leg off? Can I please? Can I, can I have ripped a leg off? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. That was enough damage you can rip a leg off. And I just realized I did the math wrong on it, too. There's way more damage done. Okay. Uh, yeah, so now our seven-legged spider. She's not looking happy. She's going to attack Cherry three times with her longsword. Okay. And, yeah, here we go. Uh, 23 to hit, 18 to hit, and 17 to hit. Hey, don't you... Uh, only the 20. Don't you hurt my little girl. And Shit. Edith uses her reaction to give uh, plus four to Cherry's AC. Okay, then the 23 meets, plus I also have a reaction. <laughs> oh my god. To whip my yeah. spiny tail and roll a d8. Okay. Roll. Oh, just enough. One. So that's a 24 <laughs> AC now that I have. So if they stack. once again, three Lord long sword attacks and not a single one of them hit just gonna shoot the longbow from here on out this is dumb yeah we could have just walked out of here they're not doing anything except <laughs> yeah, what are they gonna do i'm in a primal rage okay what's everyone else's excuse <laughs> if someone left i would follow probably well if it's edith's turn let's see what you guys do oh my goodness my little nutter butter are you hurt are you harmed uh, I am in deep pain. <laughs> With three arrows sticking out of him. <laughs> he points at the arrows. <laughs> deep pain. Yeah. And uh, I cough up more blood. <laughs> You're really hurting, aren't you? Yeah, I am ba- I'm barely alive, y'all. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that mean that the blood is in your lungs? You're fucking... You're done. <laughs> He's in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're done. <laughs> You're done. Okay, magic gets it out of the lungs. Is it my turn? No, uh, it's, it's my turn. Edith, yeah. Oh, okay. She says, oh, no, let me let me patch that up for you. And she casts her bonus action because that's all she can do. She used mm-hmm. her motivational speech. Does that take it? Does the motivational speech take effect now or? 
I would assume you have to finish a speech for it to matter, right? I mean, I don't think everyone was cheering for the first line of the Gettysburg Address, even though that's all anyone remembers. I mean, weren't they... Didn't that have some sort of effect? Even just, like, a minimal effect? But, okay. <laughs> Healing Word, she's going to cast that as a bonus action at... Oh, are you not spending the rest of the game giving your speech? I No, I will give the speech <laughs> after I do my bonus action. Healing Word, let's say, fourth level. That could be some help. you gain... 44 HP. I can roll that. All right. It's is it 44 plus anything? Uh yes, yeah, so sorry. 44 plus my spell casting modifier. Thank you. Okay. Which is a plus 9. Yeah, I knew one of yours was really high. Well, that's my spell attack bonus, which is what I assume that my yes. spell casting modifier is. Mm-hmm. I would as well. Yep. So. All right. 44. So, the first one's 4. Oh, the second one's four. Oh. Two. And four. Fourteen plus nine, twenty-three. All right. Eight. Yes. Dang. I almost reversed that and last And then hit. she continues her speech. Great. You are the honey to my butter biscuit, the bunches to my oats. <laughs> That's so great. And I will, I will heal you at all costs, even my highest spell cost, because you complete me and I complete you. Oh, that's making some assumptions. All right. Well, thank you. Um, thank you, Edith. Um. Look at this team that we make. We're like Pippin and, and Jordan. We're like Rodman and Bird. We can do anything together. We're like Harlem and Globetrotters. Humphrey is fully crying. <laughs> That's my little sister over there. She's in love and I love her. It's great. You're crying and drooling. You're just wet from all of your orifices on your face. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, more of the mouth is falling off. Uh, gross. <laughs> well, uh, crying mess, Humphrey, it is your turn. What are you, you going to pull it together for this one? Uh, I'm falling apart, both <laughs> mentally and physically. <laughs> I think Humphrey is going to use their bonus action to Misty Step cool. to the front of the cave, or as far out of the cave as possible. That's good. And go, well, uh, I, I don't really see how this thing's going to chase us. And I'm afraid this little fella right here, my hand's going to hurt himself too much. So I want to get out of here as fast as possible. And I'm going to use my action to grapple the plant in my hand so that it can't like hurt itself anymore oh okay you don't even have to roll for a grapple it's got a negative one to strength and it's been hurting itself trying to attack you so you can just (laughs) okay yeah so i'm like tightening my hand with it in there and and trying to leave i don't know why i gave it a character sheet at all fuck it (laughs) oh i misty stepped 30 feet towards the edge of the cave and then i'm going to use the rest of my movement like my 30 feet movement to just walk out of the cave smart we'll get you right to the front of it how's that sweet uh and we'll keep you just out of sunlight for now you're just in the shade waiting for your friends to leave too this place sucks so we'll be back at the house (laughs) uh it's the sprout's turn it's not going to battle the grapple it's just going to let it happen at this point because it's hurt itself oh he's so cute (laughs) uh cleo you are up well you're kind of down on your knee but you're up down on your knee Oh my goodness, this is happening so suddenly. <laughs> Jonathan. Uh-oh. Narr, Arnor. Arnor, will you take my hand in marriage? <laughs> this is That's what you get for leaving. Ask. You're married now, Jonathan. Cleo is officially wed. Wedded. Aww. It's going to be a beautiful marriage. We're going to have uh, a nice little barbecue. Humphrey hands the spore to Edith to throw as her bouquet. <laughs> Did Jonathan lose his internet? No, I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay. That's okay. Okay, is it my turn? Yes, it yes. is. All right, is anything dead? No, but Humphrey did no. just book it out of the cave. Like, Humphrey's at the front of the cave, ready to leave. Misty stepped Yeah, I've and got ran. the spore, and I'm almost down. Yes, with the spores. Okay, and how does everyone else look? Are they able to leave the cave as well? Uh, I think that uh, uh, Edith will do whatever you want her to do. Uh, it's going to be wrangling your snarling little girl, Wolf. 
Yeah, Cherry is would get an opportunity attack for sure, right? Yes. Okay, so then I say, Oi, lasses, it's twine to guard, sore. I um pull out a rose, but you see that this rose is like immalleable, like it doesn't bend at all. And I aim it at Sherry Chapeau. And Sherry, I need you to roll a D4. Okay. Interesting. Two. Okay, you can add a plus two to your armor. Nice. Is that temporary? Yes, it is temporary. And it, it I say, hopefully it will help you from taking any more damage from these individuals over here. And it's a once per day thing. Yeah, so you have plus two to your armor for a day. Nice. Wow. And I bounce. Cool. All right, we got two on the run. Cherry, you're up. Are you guys going to communicate to Cherry what you're doing? Or are you going to leave her to fight this? I, I, I told Cherry to leave. Oh, oh you're right. My bad. Uh, so Cherry, you're up. Okay. How does everything look? Could she easily kill these things? Because I'm at full health, y'all. They're not at full health, but they're going to take a few more hits before they're down. I'm going to take a few more hits before they're down. Okay. Yeah, unless you got a big swing in you. Wait, I have a question, and I'm probably going to curse all of us when I ask this question. Yeah. Mm. If we run away from this fight, are you not going to level us up? <laughs> oh, why'd you ask? I swear. I didn't to... think of that. Oh, I was going to say, if I've stayed and fought these things alone, would you let me level up twice? Well, hang on a second. Yes. No! <laughs> oh, then I'm in. I'm still in. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, because the range on my Flora and Prada is 150, so we gonna, we, we fucking it up. <laughs> I didn't mean to continue the battle, but I liked Katie's offer. <laughs> I can't, Jonathan, for the person who has tried to gaslight him the most into giving us levels, why would you ask that question? <laughs> because I felt like once we brought it up afterwards... Someone was going to say, well, like, we didn't kill them. So, like, do you think? And then he would be like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Fuck all that. No, nah, y'all don't get no level ups. But instead we have everyone levels up. But if I kill these things. Yeah, well, yes. now that's not going to happen because we're all going to turn back around. <laughs> yeah, I'm at, like, I would say a 50 plus 30 is 80. I'm at 80 feet away, so I'm still shooting. Okay. I'm fine with yeah, that. Yeah, I think you should stay back for sure. But, like... Cherry is going to look at you like, you know when you're really tired and your dog's really tired, but it's a nice day out and you both could probably keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. Yeah. if you got, I would say if you got a big swing, as long as you can kill one of these things, I'll let you all level up. Cherry, if you stay behind and get them both, you can have an extra level. Okay. 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 So just to make sure there's not three creatures anymore, there's two of them? Yeah. Brandon has secured, Humphrey has secured one of them in... Uh, their cookie hand. Yeah, how many levels do I get for capturing this one alive? You get a sprout. Bullshit. To get to the next world. This game sucks. Again, if, if <laughs> as long as one dies, I'll let everybody level up because everyone competed with this. Okay, so it's the spider lady and what was the other thing again? Like a mushroom? Yeah, it's a it's mushroom. Like a it's the same thing as what Brandon has in his hand, just an adult version. Mushroom, but big. Okay, that sounds good. So uh, I am going to go after the big mushroom one. Okay. Has it been 10 rounds? No. Probably. One, two, three, four, six, maybe? Okay, perfect. I just, I need to know so I can use my rage again. Gotcha. But essentially what Cherry is going to do is, do you think I could get on the ceiling above one of these things easily? Yeah, very. With emotion? Sweet. So I'm also going to use my dash, so I'm just going to clamber up that wall real fast, and I want to drop on from the top. Okay. On to the spider lady. Okay. And I'm going to go for where she's vulnerable. Her legs? Thorax? Spider nipples. Yeah, let's let's go thorax. Nipples? Nipples. nipples. Stop it. I can't see them from the front, from, from the back. You don't know where they are. Hey, hey, Spiders are built different. <laughs> Sometimes they're all over. So um, I am going to bite her thorax. Okay. And lash her with my tail as well. Okay. So first hit. Are you going to tell me what that is? It's a 13 plus 8. So 21. That hits. Yep. Perfect. Plus you have the plus 2 to your AC or your, to your... Uh, is it AC from Jonathan? Yep. Yeah. Plus 2 to my AC. AC. My bad. Yeah. 
the second one's an 11, so it doesn't. That does not hit. Yeah, but the first attack does uh, 11 damage. <laughs> nice. Really not looking good. I mean, neither one of them are. Is that your turn, then? I think that's my two attacks. All right, I'm going all in on you, Cherry. Okay. I've got two people going with attacks, and we're doing all of them at you. But I am on top of the spider lady's oh, thorax. you are on top of the spider thing. I don't have anything. Yeah, Katie's the top. Oh, uh. no. Okay, so I can't get Katie, and this thing doesn't have any ranged attack, and no one is in range. I'm still going to cast my spores at you, Katie. Okay. So can you give me a constitution saving throw, please? Mm-hmm. 18? That's fine. Okay. Well, we, we had a turn, and then we completed it, and we're moving on to our drider. You are going to give this dog asthma. <laughs> uh, so our drider's got you on its back, and it doesn't like that. So what it's going to do is also climb up the walls and onto the ceiling. So now you're uh, it's upside down, and you're hanging from its back. Okay. Do I need to like make a athletics or a strength check? But I also, I'm also like a climber. I have a feet like that's climbing or something. Yeah, I kind of feel like you're just going to hang on. So you're both just upside down. Yeah. And I'm going to take the chance. Oh, Jonathan, you said you're like 130 feet now. How far away are you? Uh, I am 80 feet. Yeah, 80 feet. And Edith is close by, who I haven't touched yet. But Edith is charmed. I don't want to touch her. All right. <laughs> We're going to see if I can kill Jonathan's character right now. Okay. Nice. So let's talk about that. If Jonathan dies, do we get all those levels? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 1, and then I rolled a 7, which would be a 13 to hit. And then I rolled a 9, which is a 15 to hit. Ugh. The 15 to hit wins. Okay, mm -hmm. so we got 1. There's no reaction or anything from Edith? She already did her reaction this round to you. Yeah, okay, thank you. All right, well, it's only 10 damage total. Oh, that's, okay, I, I'm... I'm only bleeding slightly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not as bad as last time. Just one arrow hits, two whiz right by you. So now you have four arrows sticking out of you. Just just right there. Wow. Okay. That is our Drider's turn. Edith, you are up. Still giving your loving speech. She's going to go ahead and do her bonus action first and okay. pop off with the peach to this Drider. Okay. And that is 27 to hit. Yeah. I thought that was the damage for a second. I was like, shit. And the damage is... The damage is 20. Okay. It, uh, it'll it lose its grip on the ceiling and fall to the ground. Uh, it's not very far, so it's not going to be doing any falling damage. Awesome. But both you two... both. Cherry and the Drider have hit the ground and are now, uh, we'll say prone, just to make it easier. Okay. Yeah. I, I wrote down how much damage it took, not how much HP it has left. <laughs> and she continues her speech. Okay. Saying, I am so sorry, my little sugar muffin. Uh, I am the aide to your band. I will heal you anytime you need. I am a circle and you are a smaller circle. Or vice versa, whichever you prefer. We will get through this together. There is nothing that can stop us. We are farmers. A <laughs> superpower team. Okay. Do you want to be farmers? You know, have you ever have you ever been on that website onlyfarmers.com? Are you trying to get him onto a dating I site? I, mm -hmm. Because I would have I would have definitely swapped right on you if I would have seen you. <laughs> okay. So then, Edith, your your uh, speech is still continuing. Humphrey, you're at the front of the game, waiting for your friends, wondering what's happening. Am I within 120 feet of them? Of at least Jonathan, yeah. Of the enemies? I think you're right at 120, yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, rip off one of my gumdrop buttons and throw it as an Eldritch Blast. Nice! Which is a 26 to hit. And that does hit. Slay, bitch. For... Does it hit one target or multiple targets? It hits one target. Okay. I mean, it hit either one. You can pick which one you want to hit. Oh, wait. It says, it says two beams. Do I hit two people? I don't know. If the blast can hit two mm. people, is it a range? 
The spell creates more than one beam when you reach higher levels, two beams at 5th level, three beams at 11th. You can direct beams at the same target or at different ones. Make a separate attack roll for each beam. Oh. So I get to roll to hit twice. Okay, let's do it. Let's get them both. Why not? Uh, the second one was a 12. <laughs> Did uh, that hit the plant? Yeah, you're good. Really? Yeah, that hits both of them. Shit, okay. So uh, a 15 to the plant and an 8 to the spider lady. Death. Slave death, 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 death. Across the board. To both? Yep. Nice. A gumdrop button took them out. Oh, do I get two levels? No. But you, get a, you will get leveled up. I don't know. I think Brandon should get two levels. That was the reward. If the if the party's cool with it, Brandon did kill both of them. Yeah, I'm totally cool with it. I did most of the damage. No. Okay. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> kill steel. I mean, did you do most of the damage? I fully support you, and I would never bring this up in front of anybody else, but I'm just whispering in your ear, because, you know, I did knock him out with my peach a couple times, but... That's, um, oi, that's Char. Um, I feel like you're too in love to fight him. We're not, we're not talking in uh, characters, because, no. No. If, uh, if we can head out now that I've killed everyone in this room all by myself with no help from anyone else, <laughs> I am ready to leave. But also, if one of you could grab my gumdrop on the way out, because those do not grow back. Yes, I will grab your gumdrop, and I'm going to protect my cutie patootie right here, and let's get on out of here. Let's skadoodle. I would like to roll and see if I can uh, like take anything, like any spores or anything with me. Yeah. I'm- Maybe I can, like infect someone and kill them uh you God. definitely can take some myconid spores you already have the sprout from brandon so you'll have a constant source of it but you can take all the spores from the adult one that you want absolutely you can get okay. a whole jar full not that they carry jars on them but and what about this uh drider this drider does this drider have anything of use nipples nipples Stop. Correct. of use like maybe i can break off a fang or something i mean yeah it's got a long sword and a long bow Ooh, you could take like its fangs. Those might sell for something. You also say, yeah. What if I like take its fangs? Yeah, you could also take like its a uh, silk sack. I'm sure it makes a web. I've heard that if you build the body parts into some sort of scarf, you could use it in a ritual. Oh my god! Shut up. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm just gonna take one of the fangs. Cool, cool. Cleo collecting body parts, which is what we expected from Jonathan at this point, right? Yep. It's different. <laughs> uh, done a full 360 i heard you shut up okay i heard you shut up so yeah you guys successfully got your myconid spores uh so you now have three of the ingredients on the list you're almost there and next week we're going to start off with edith still in love with cleo humphrey still has a wet ass mouth and cherry just turned back into a little girl i'm guessing yeah but just like covered in blood <laughs> there it is and that's how we'll uh, pick up next time on roll gay roleplay thanks for joining us everybody i'm chris the dm you can find me on all social media at chris drinks lemonade i'm tisha you can find the podcast at rollgayroleplay.com. i'm brandon you can find me on tiktok at blue cotton candy cosplay hi my name is katie and i'm continuing to take a prolonged break from social media just fame is too much <laughs> I can't. Hey, I'm Jonathan. I play Florals in Spring, and you can find me on TikTok at Groundbreaking33. Now, instead of saying goodbye in our normal voices, say goodbye in your Mario Kart voices. Ready? <laughs> yep. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 RGRP LLC production. Music by Joe Barsanti.